Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being here for a video. We're going to do another live jar today, jewelry bag. Actually, I do have some jars, but I'm curious about this one because it's heavy. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a Goodwill bag. I believe I got it for just around $25 with my discount. Um, I think it's more like $21, but with tax, so roughly, approximately $25. And I'm really anxious to finish with the Goodwill bags now that I found um, not only gold last night, or the last video that I did, I didn't even realize it was gold. I will show it to you. Uh, but as I was putting them away, I was putting away some earrings, and I was going to put all of the little studs in this little box. And actually, some of mine are in here. I had taken off these pearls, and I was going to put them all in here, and then I took another look at these. Remember, I thought these were gold. <laughs> well, these weren't the gold ones. And then I looked at some purple ones that were gold-filled, and then I found this one, and I know I had the match. Now I have to go back because I think I may have put it in a crafter lot, but these are actually 925, and they're marked. I was They kind of look like Ripka to me, Jen, Judith Ripka, I think it is. They kind of reminded me of that style, so I took a better look at them, and they are marked 925. But then I looked at these, and you saw me... <clears throat> You saw me open that jar last night, and I just said, oh, I want some gold earrings, and I put them aside. And they were even matched. They were even matched and, and ready. And then I said, when I looked at them again, I said, wait a minute, I see a little mark there. Let me see if they don't say, you know, the Monet or something. Didn't even put the magnet on them or anything. So they're marked 585, which, as you know, means 14 carats. So, wow, talk about excited. And um, I just really love the starfish motif. I've always liked it as well. I think I told you guys how much I like it. And uh, one of my subscribers even sent me a beautiful Tiffany with the little starfish. So I really, really love that motif. Always have. Super excited about these guys. These are fairly big. They look very nice on. And I was also super interested in the way they made the backing. The backing is also marked. And they made it so that it, it's very hard to pull away. It's almost like too tight. And it's almost like textured where it's it's really a struggle to take them off, which is kind of good. Lots of times, like your diamond studs will come with a little screw back tight. So I was glad to see that too. And I was glad to see that they have both their backs. Wow. And let me show you the mark on this one. This one says 585. And then it says like some kind of a signature artisan mark at the top. It's I think it's got like a little like an identity mark or something as well. So the backs are marked too, and then it says there at the bottom. So talk about a score, guys. You just never know when things are going to fall through the cracks at the Goodwill, right? <laughs> So thank you guys for joining me. Let me see who's here. Jennifer, Kathleen, I saw Kelly and Vanessa, Seven Bells, Lori, Judy, Abbott, Hey Jude, and Pearl, I believe was the first one in. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to open another bag. The bag I chose, as you know, sometimes I just pick them because they're heavy or they're filled. Like yesterday, there was a, a bag and a jar, and I left the jar behind because the jar wasn't even completely full. I Hello, Umberto, how are you? So I was just, eh, I'm not going to get the, the thing. And they were both the same price. So anyway, fabulous 14 karat, guys. I'm so excited. Um, and I have to go look for this one again because I know I had the match. But I think I threw it in with the uh, with the crafter lot or just kind of went to the wayside. But let's get started on this one. This one's pretty big. I see a, what looks like a, a lot of garbage <laughs> at first. But I do see some cloisonne in there. I see, I thought this was Marcus, but it's just a, a little costume piece in there. And um, this almost looks like a crafter lot, but I know that they don't price usually the, the ones that are 25 to $29. They usually put some, some good stuff in there. They don't, I think the ones that are more like crafter, they rarely do all crafters actually. I've never really encountered that too much, but we'll see. We'll see what's in it. Of course, there's I see uh, seashells right off the bat, which is not too exciting, but it's kind of a 
a requisite item in a jewelry jar, don't you think? So we're going to open this up. But anyway, lesson learned, guys. Uh, always relook at your jewelry when you put it away after you've done a, a initial opening because um, this has happened more than once. And the last time I found some 14 karat gold chains, I think it was Jude who told me about those gold leaves that are dipped in gold, right? But that wasn't the interesting part. The interesting part that it was that it was on a 14 karat gold chain. So I went back to look at that one too. So always double check everything that even when they look costumey, even when they look like big old links, like one time I had, and I've told the story, story several times, but the links were bigger than that. And I thought, oh, it's probably just a costume piece. And it was 14 karat gold. And I sold that for $500. And I got it for like a dollar or two right out of the counter. So, yep, it happens. <clears throat> these are not just fish stories, guys. You can really fish for treasure in these jars. Okay, we got macrame in the house. Sunglass holder. Wow, those are different. I'm sure someone who loves the beach is going to want that. What do you think? Nice and packaged, too. That is so funny. One size fits most frames. Well, they do look a little nicer than those, you know, regular black cords, I guess. Hi, Liz. How are you? Ashley as well. Hi, Lydia. These are cute. These are really cute. I like those. Little earrings there. And let me dump some of this out. So y'all can help me look at it. Okay. Oh, what's this? It kind of looks like amber, but I don't know if it's faux. It looks really interesting the way they almost look squished up. What do you think? Can you guys see okay? Let me put another light in here from the back. I feel like the lighting is kind of off. Okay. I don't know. Looks cheaply made. That's why I don't think it's real amber. I think it's just a little bit of plastic. We shall see. Well, we do have some remnants here. Here's a piece of amber, though. That's real. That one definitely looks real. Be nice to get the match, too. All right. Pretty. And it's these look like silver as well, these little hooks. Nice. I hope I get the match to that. Aw, look at that. Someone was telling me these button covers actually can sell. That's a cute one, too. <clears throat> Who doesn't love a cow? I just ordered a black light. Everyone's been telling me about it. Look at this, guys. This is cool. It's some kind of stone, and it's like off a broken vintage key ring. Uh, so I ordered one on Amazon. I was almost going to order the bar that you can plug in like on your walls. I could just take my glasses over there because people have been telling me to check for, is it uranium glass? I forget. But it supposedly glows as well. This is nice. What is that, Aventurine? So I just ordered one. It should get here by the weekend. I'm excited about it. And we got trash. And oh, these are cute. Cute. They dangle in there on the hoop. And this is just a broken brooch. Ah, oh, this is cute. Gotta lo love the homemade Christmas brooches. I've been selling a lot of those lately. It'd be nice if it turned on, huh? Maybe it's solar powered. It is so cute. It lights up. That's a cute one. Okay, don't need a hair accessory, but they threw one in there. And here's a long hoop. All the rhinestones are there, so that's nice. Oh, that's kind of cool. All the rhinestones are on this one, too. And that is real leather. I like when they bother to put real leather on it. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Someone will like that. Maybe a... I don't know. I like it. Very interesting bracelet. 
gold earring. I'm going to put the earrings all aside over here and then see if we match any of them up. Oh, that's a cute one. I love that color. It's light, too. It's uh, acrylic. I got a statement piece with some pretty pink earrings attached. Oh, this is cute. I like the way they just dangle in the front. Sometimes the ones that are like really, you know, intricately designed where there's a design up here and you have to line everything up. They're kind of more trouble to put on. This one's cute. I like the champagne colored gold a lot. I don't know what video I was watching the other day. And they were talking about jewelry. It was costume jewelry. Maybe it was Chanel. I don't remember. It could have been someone else. This is Stella and Dot. Nice. I, th I thought it was kind of nicely made. And they were saying that this person, but I can't remember who it was, actually coined the term champagne gold for this color of gold. I think it was Chanel on her bags, for the chains on her bags. So it's a very subtle gold. That is really pretty. How's the angle? Is it too low? Let me go up a little bit. I think you can get a better view right there. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. It almost looks like a fish lens right now. I don't know why it's looking like that. Okay, we got another piece of the little faux amber. But look, this one's on a key ring. And it's a vintage key ring. Sometimes these are sterling as well. I've found a few vintage key rings that turned out to be sterling. And doesn't that kind of look like the color of sterling? Do you think that's real amber? I don't know. I mean, I could just be thinking it's not. I don't really know. It sure feels like it. I need that black light for sure. Let me see if this isn't stamped because this really looks like sterling. I could swear this is sterling. I'm going to cut this little $1 tag off. Probably had it at a garage sale at one time. Yeah, I had a really cute little sterling vintage key ring that was sterling and it had charms that were sterling. It was so cute. Really cute. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that too, too much more, but the color of it really looks like sterling to me for some reason. And let me get my magnet. And it's not sticking. So I'm going to test that. I really think that's sterling. And if it's sterling, it just might be amber. It just might be amber. Because look at the... You can't see with some of my lighting, but it's got a very interesting look to it inside. It doesn't look like... It really does not look like just plastic. So I think it's real too. Yeah, I think they are real. And I think either this was another one, a smaller one, and it looks vintage, you know. There's that key ring and everything. So nice. We got some Legos. Why do they do that? I swear they just scoop up things sometimes. Oh, she's pretty. She's a button cover, but she's really pretty. I wonder if they're just glued back there. I think you, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's probably a souvenir from wherever it is that Amber comes from. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest charm. It's a golf club with the little, <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's cute. It's just plastic, but it's so pretty. And we've got more single earrings. Let's put this earrings over here. Hope we find it. This is a silver tone bangle. Nice texture to it. This is a nice brooch. This is a nice brooch. I just saw the back of it and I said, that's a nice brooch. <laughs> really? And then I turn it over and it's enameled. That is a really, really different mid-century looking brooch and there is a mark on it let me see what's on it let me see what it says back there 
Thanks for hitting that thumbs up and for reminding everyone. I appreciate it. Yeah, hit that thumbs up, guys. Okay, look. Does it say you? A. That is a A P R, Apri. Hey, isn't that Aubrey Apri? Isn't that Anita's sister's name? That's what it looks like. It says, or that's how she abbreviates her name. I think. See that? That's a beautiful brooch. Look. It's got a copyright, and I think it says A P R I. I love this cute brooch, guys. This is very, very yes. But I think this is APRI. I'm not sure. I didn't couldn't quite read the script. But this is awesome. Huge too. I like that. And that it's well made. Very nice. Alright, here's some 80s earrings that need cleaning. Those need to be clean. Here's some really pretty little seed pearls. Um, here's a cloisonne bead. I saw that through the bag. I was hoping it was a necklace. This does not feel like metal, though. It's interesting. It feels like wood. Ooh, these are pretty. These are glass beads. Uh, or some kind of stone. I'm not sure. But this is a nice bracelet. Very, very nice bracelet. A drawstring type that looks really pretty on. I like that. Okay, so the bracelets got more earrings. These are matching. These white ones are matched, so that's nice. I'm building a, a huge jewelry jar with nothing but matched earrings, and then I'm going to do one with unmatched earrings. That's kind of cute. This one, I thought it was the same thing, but this is, I think this was a brooch. No, no, it is a um, a pendant. So I'll have to find a chain to put through that. That's nice. See, these are the ones I thought were real Marcus type, but they're not. They're still cute though, and they are clips. Just a little piece of, I think this was a broken bracelet here. Just beads on there. More Legos. That's always fun. They're probably fake Legos too. Yep, they even fake the Legos. There are some loose beads here, guys. And this is from Monel. Whatever that is. Some kind of little charm. It's Tinkerbell. Where does that go? I think, you know what this is? These are those phone charms that people were using years ago. That's what that is. I'm going to put that in a craft lot. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. It's all acrylic, but it's very nice. Looks like genuine stones, but they're all acrylic. Very nicely made, too. It does have a barrel clasp. That's a pretty piece. I like that a lot. I know, they totally look real. They did a good job on these. They really did. This one looks like tortoise shell and everything. Very cool. Okay, here's some real stones in wire wrap design. I'm going to have to pull that all of this off. So let's see what's in here. It's a big neck wire. I don't think this is silver, but let's do the magnet real quick. Hmm, not sticking. Probably stainless steel or copper base. Yeah, it's got a little wear back here. These are nice, though. Some pendants really call for that. They really are set off by those kinds of neck collars. 
Thanks, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I really appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you very, very much. And if I didn't say hello, it's because I'm trying to get through this jar so we're not here till midnight. But I do appreciate everyone showing up to watch these live videos where we unjar these mystery bags and mystery jars that are sold at um, thrift stores, Goodwill, and other places. And you just never know what you're going to find. Last night, I found, and actually I didn't even realize, till the next day that these were 14 karat gold. I have found Tiffany, I have found diamonds, and pearls, and white gold, yellow gold, 18 karat, 14 karat, 10 karat, and then I have found junk, like a hair accessory and a Lego. Here's another hair accessory. So you just never know, so that's why we love these jars. They're a lot of fun. Now these look like, could this be like um, sea glass? I think that's what that might be. Doesn't really look like a stone. Looks like more like that sea glass or something. It's pretty though. It really is cute. But it needs to come out of here. It's tangled up. Sea glass. Yeah, that's what I think it looks like. I'm wondering what they did with that wire and everything, though. Seems like a pretty nice... Oh, here's another hook to unhook. It's always easier to unhook them, right? So they can get untangled faster, supposedly. It's like three necklaces in here. Oh, my goodness, another one. Or was that just attached to something else? Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, there's one. These are nice, though. They look like leather, but they're cord. And these would look really nice with a particular pendant. Maybe this one, I'd have to make that a pendant. That's pretty. But I'm gonna check that, um, that too, because that's probably part of this souvenir thingy with the silvery stuff, the 925, that I'm assuming is 925. Okay, so there's like a little bit of a loose thing going on here. I don't know if they just attach them all in here or what. So there were three of these separate necklaces tangled up in there. These three cords. Okay. Put that aside. And then we have another one of these drawstring style. This is more for a little girl. It's just acrylic. And then I guess they just did a whole bunch of pendants. How did I pick up a bracelet? I'm trying to untangle this and I picked up a bracelet. Because they're just a bunch of pendants. They put them on chains. They did some wire wrapping. I think these are just, um, what we what did we say, sea glass? So there's like three or four of them. There's another one. Some are copper wrapped. Some are kind of a gold tone. And I think they just kind of dangled them all in here have to untangle that chain though. All right, let's move on. See, here's more. Hey, Cherry, how are you? Let's see how it's popped in here. Kathleen's in here. How are you, Miss Kathleen? And more loose beads and single earrings, broken earring, nice rhinestones though. So that'll go into a crafter. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty bead. I don't know what kind of a, I don't know if that was a dangle for a necklace or what, but that's a pretty bead. All right, we did get a match on these. These are clip. More single, what is this? Oh, this is like a piece of it. Not quite the earring. Oh, look at that, a penguin inside there. That's glass. No, it's acrylic. It's got a penguin with a heart inside of it. That's an earring. This is some kind of braided bracelet. I don't know if you could put something on it. It's got a brand name too, Rothko. So I think it says Rothko. Okay. Oh, charms. 
on a necklace. The charms are very worn though. So that'll go on a crafter lot as well. Maybe the chain could be used. It's a nice chain. Some satin going through it. All right. Here are some turquoise earrings. I don't believe they're genuine. Cross earring there. Oh, this is a nice rosary. I just like rosaries, guys. <laughs> this is all knots. Very nice. Just multicolored knots. Hey, Miss Kathy, how are you? I was going to bring you a haul, but I'll bring you a live haul tomorrow. I have a great thrift haul as well, guys. So that's another thing you'll see here. If you're new to the channel, you'll see thrift hauls as well and ride-alongs. Thrift with me. Blessed are the women whose hope is in the Lord. Little prayer with a little pin bat there. And, oh my gosh, I've got a tangle going on here too. This is a fashion necklace, multi-strand, acrylic beads, three strands, kind of that netting kind, kind of an ivory color. This is pretty. No wear on it, really. I think it's supposed to be that champagne color. So that's a nice piece. Oh my goodness, we always get these shells, don't we? Or nuts, whatever they're they are this is pretty in brown someone told me they craft with these though so i always throw one or two in a craft lot they make such a nice sound i should make wind chimes one day when i have time right <clears throat> this is cute i like this multicolored well tricolored clear kind of a taupe and then a black and they're all faceted, but they're all acrylic as well. And they're very nice condition. The silver tone is very much intact. Nice one. I like when they do these clustering designs. Very cool. Okay, this is pretty. These look like genuine stones in these earrings. Very nice. You think it's an Avon piece? Did we get some good news, Vanessa? Praise God. This is cool. Hope and love. Someone was going to start something really nice, and I love the beads on here. This is also, I believe, um, sea glass. And this is some dyed mother of pearl. And they were going to do something here that says hope and love on it. How cool. Awesome, Vanessa. I'm so glad to hear it. We'll keep praying. We'll keep praying. Things to get better and better and better. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wood beads, some silver tone flowers. I thought it was a bracelet, but it's actually a little choker. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, these are pretty. I love the little drop earrings like this. That was another nice find last night, these. These were from the bag last night. These long, I found the matching one. And these are button pearls from last night's jar. And the chains, I think, are sterling. I haven't tested them. They do look like it, and they're not marked. But they are real pearls up here, too. So isn't that cute? I was happy with those. Those are from last night's jar. Just put them there for later. All right, we've got a cute little choker these are cute the penguin was cute wasn't it boy this is a long where does this go maybe this goes on a dress and wait till you see this hoop 
Oh my goodness. That's a lot of velvet ribbon. I wonder if that goes around a dress or something. Or maybe maybe they were just going to cut it up. That's pretty. I mean, I guess it could go wrapped a couple of times around your neck. A la corset style or something. I don't know. That's interesting. But look at this. Have you ever seen these? Hoops that big? Oh my gosh, I know someone would love them. I've seen the girls wear them in the round. I've never seen the square ones, but why not? Why not? Those won't even fit in my in my earring lot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have to make an earring bag because they will not fit in the jar. Those are humongous. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I know. <laughs> Yes, most definitely. Liz, get to the doctor quick because it'll turn into bronchitis before you know it. A little Christmas brooch. Looks like 100 people are here. 37 people put the thumbs up. We need about, I think, what, 60 people to go over below the screen, leave the chat for just a minute, and hit the thumbs up. That's a nice earring. It's a clip-on, too. It looks... Not very expensive, but it looks exotic, like it's almost a costume piece. And then we have some skulls in copper. This needs to be straightened out, though. They, they really didn't do a good job of this, but this is genuine copper, so this is nice. Once we get it straight straightened out. No, I don't think it... Let me smell it. I don't know. May not be copper. Look how it looks kind of goldish. But it could have been gold colored and then it wore down, right? So we'll have to double check that. Now, copper is not magnetic, right? Copper does like a dance with the magnets. It doesn't really stick. So maybe not real copper. Oh my goodness, this is interesting. This I thought it was verdigris, guys, but it is the dye. It's enameled. It's an interesting earring. Wow. Clip-on. Here's another clip-on. We had this one earlier, so we do have the match to that one somewhere. We'll match these up in a minute. This one's pretty. Look at that. This one has a star in the middle. And all of the stones are there, and this is nicely made. I sure hope we have the match to that one, because that's a pretty one. Let me see if it has any mark on it. Yeah, it does. This one says, Amy, Ari, A-R-I, I believe is what it says at the top. Can you see right there? Right here at the top, I think it says Ari. And this is a gorgeous earring. It's got like a green stone. This is actually engraved with a gold star. Oh my gosh, that's a cute one. I hope we find the match. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it grabs everything in sight. It's a huge magnet. My husband got it somewhere in the garage. And it's on every time I put it down, it's on a lamp on one of those gooseneck lamps and it just makes that horrible noise. We got a lot of broken beads. I'm gonna put these aside over here. Okay, this is another cow button. So I guess we got a couple of cow buttons. These, I may list those. I think those will sell. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this crystal cross. Oh my gosh, that is real. It's like a Rivoli. That's awesome. That's a beautiful AB crystal. Love that. It looks like the bale is 925. Excellent. So that's good. I'll find a nice chain for that. See it right there, it's marked. That's beautiful. That is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I'll blind someone with my wear that, but that's not gonna stop me. That is a nice piece. Okay. Now, I think I saw more than one of these, but it's a little, more like a little plastic. Bale is with a with an E, not an I in there. 
This is a little plastic one. Yes, that's correct, Miss Vanessa. Are you listing? <gasps> My daughter listed, uh, you guys remember those mid-century velvet uh, Kichi frames from long ago? Well, I picked up one long ago, <laughs> at least five years ago, because I heard they were really collectible, and they were. And I think I may have missed the boat because I haven't gotten any bites yet, but <laughs> she just listed it. And um, she's so funny. She titled it. She titled the, the the heading on the listing. She called it Velvet Elvis, because I was telling her she was listening to some music and it had it was a, a song called Velvet Elvis, and I had to tell her what that referenced to because she's young and she doesn't remember that decor or you know how it was popular at one time in the '60s, and then now with the um, hipsters wanting to harken back to those times it had gotten a little popular, right? So I explained to her what it was about the song and then she thought that she could put it in the listing. So that's what she put in the listing, Velvet Elvis. Even though it's not Elvis, it's actually a bullfighter. So maybe we'll sell it, we'll see. Hey, Miss Lori, how are you? Oh, good, good, I'm so happy you got everything. Isn't that bag amazing, Miss Lori? Makes you want to make a pillow out of it or something. All right, this is just a tangled chain, guys. I'm just wasting my time here. Two little chains, they're gold tone. Let's just do the magnet anyway. Looks like that one sticks. That one does not stick. So let's take a look at that. It's worn, though. It's got a lot of wear on it, so I don't think that is gold. Probably a copper base, so we'll put that aside over there. More broken beads. A tree. Where does this tree belong? Oh, it's a it's a pendant. It's got a hidden bale. Pretty. Nice Christmas tree. Uh, I guess this could be a thumb ring for someone, but it's just silver. Looks like uh, silver tone. We got a lot of these earrings. Which ones match? Okay, these match, and these almost look like they're the same, but this one's a darker antique gold. That's interesting. They do, they do. I, I remember they sold them in Mexico, though, didn't they? Because I remember it was a real touristy thing, and they did have pictures of Elvis and the Kennedys and <laughs> the bullfighter. These are pretty. I like the red ones. These are just black, and then there's some studs. But I picked mine up, um, I don't know, about four or five years ago somewhere at the Goodwill. And I actually used it in my one of my classrooms when I had a world travel theme going in my classroom. And I had that up. And everybody loved it. The kids loved that painting with the bullfighter. That's when I was teaching um, third and fifth grade. Yeah, I, did, was, I was not in middle school, in a middle school position back then. And those young kids loved that picture of the bullfight, the bullfighter. This is just a gold tone chain. We have some Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras in the house. Thank goodness it's only one. One of the ones I got last time in that biggest jar in the USA. If you haven't seen that one, guys, I'll link it. It had a lot of Mardi Gras, but it also had some diamonds and pearls and some nice things. I may have to sacrifice the Mardi Gras because it's really tangled in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they were paying big money for them on eBay at one time. But you know how it is on eBay, guys. You got to, what is it that they say? Strike while the iron's hot? Because those fleeting moments come quick. First it was that, and sometimes it's that, um, I don't know what that movie is. Oh, I forgot. This is an ankle bracelet, guys. It is beaded, and it is sterling. So that's nice. Um, oh, I forgot, but it was like a ski sweater. That was a hot thing a couple of years ago. Before that, the members only jackets were the big thing. The vintage caboodle cases, everybody wanted those. Then they brought them back. Whenever they bring something back, they kind of kill the resale market. More earrings. And there's a big tangled mess in here. But I think these feathers are a part of it, and they are part of this silver thing right here. 
So there's multi strands and then they have feathers. So we're gonna put that aside because that's gonna be a lot of work, but this is a nice earring. Not marked. And oh, here's an earring that's nice too. Look at this filigree thing. Oh, see, you have to really look in these tangles. Sometimes the good stuff is in the tangles. Vanessa has told me that I think she has bought a ball of tangles from Shop Goodwill. Do you guys do Shop Goodwill? This is pretty. And that people don't untangle them, but then they find all the sterling chains in there. Have you been finding any lately, Miss Vanessa? Look, these are cute. These just need a good cleaning. These are nice looking hoops. But yeah, that's what I've heard. So we're gonna put this big ball away. We did salvage an earring out of there. Maybe we'll get the match. That would be nice, because that's a pretty one. Look at that. It's got filigree. Yeah, well, you, I know, the chains are nice to get. I love when I get, even if it's just a plain, skinny little sterling chain, because <clears throat> I have so many pendants that need them. Aw, somebody who was doing something with a little tiny mini clothes pin, and it broke. And here's some body jewelry. Put that aside. A little pearl earring. Is that the match? Yes, these are matte. No, they're not. Look at that. They're almost the same, but they're not. All right, we'll keep those aside. Let me pour out a little bit more. Whoa, there's another dollar amber, guys. I hit the jackpot on the amber. I got some broken beads rolling around the floor. You can hear everything on this floor, huh? Let me get rid of that bag. Oh my gosh, something fell over there too. We got more hair accessories. See, you got to put up with the junk to find the good stuff. All right, so now we're up to three chunks of amber. Nice. Nice. This one has a dollar on it. I tell you, someone was probably having an estate sale and they cleaned it out. This one's got a big chunk of residue inside. Look at that. Nice. Very nice, but I don't think that's silver. I think it's just like souvenir quality, like Vanessa said, <coughs> which is how a lot of this amber and jade was sold, really. Oh my gosh, talk about Paloma Picasso. Look at those. Those are cool. And we got a match. I'm gonna put those up on Etsy. Somebody needs these. Somebody who sits on the board of something needs these. Yep. Look at this. Score of the night. Oh, that's a cute brooch, guys. Big and heavy Christmas brooch. Oh my goodness. Look at him and he's holding a tree. And I think all his stones are there. Let's take a look at him. It, it does look like a Radco. Is it a Radco? I'll have to look around and see if I see a mark, but I'm trying to see if all his rhinestones are in there. And I believe they are. He is so heavy, he's enameled. His tree is enameled, his tree has a little rhinestone. He's gorgeous. Does anybody recognize that uniform? Oh my goodness, he's awesome. Well, that was worth the 20 bucks I paid for them. It looks like maybe there's a little trademark or something right there in the middle. I'm going to take a good look at him under the loop, but I'll let you look at the back there. And it has a R. So I think you may be right. It looks like an R there. For Radko, possibly. Is that how they hallmark? Radko makes the, makes the ornaments, correct? What do you think? back there that's what it looks like to me it's amazing wow and i almost didn't open this jar i was thinking ah, i see the little what i thought was just little seashells but it's actually some really nice <laughs> some really nice glass sunglass holders and now this and he's super heavy guys he's awesome it's like 2d there very cool all right very excited about that so far Here's a pre oh my goodness, look at this brooch, Kelly. I think Miss Kelly has this brooch, and I think I've had this brooch twice. This is gorgeous. 
This is a beautiful coloration on it. I don't think that, does yours have a mark on it, Kelly? That's beautiful. I love when I get brooches. They're rare, they really are. It's, it seems like we get a lot of earrings and necklaces and some bracelets. Look, here's the be the other part of the, the broken key ring. So now, one of these belongs there. Wow, that's cool. Here's another brooch. Yeah, this one's pretty. This one has a very nice texture in the back. Looks like there could be a mark on it too, let me see. Yes, I, that's what I thought that you showed me that Lori had sent you, it's so pretty. No, I don't see a mark. I think it's just little wrinkles in the in the metal or something. All right, we've got a beautiful... Oh, my gosh, he's cute. I think it's kind of a little Mexican-looking with the colors. Could be wrong, but that's a beautiful angel brooch. I like that one. Here's another. This is a little... Oh, look at that. A little doggy with wings. Oh, my goodness. That's cute. Very cool. A big old earring. Another big old earring. This one's missing some rhinestones. So it'll definitely go in a crafter lot. Here's a little hair clip. Rhinestones are still there. And here's some red. Could be dyed coral, could be natural, I don't know. Here are another, here is another brooch and an earring stuck in there. This one's missing a rhinestone too, but these rhinestones are pretty. So I may put that in a crafter lot as well. My husband's been digging in these crafter lots to find the stones and things that we need to, to fix some of the stuff I put in his fix it basket. Oh, you're kidding, Miss Ruth. I'll have to send that to you. Okay. I'll hold on to it. I'll hold on to it so you can have it. My daughter just got bad news about her doggy, so. Yep. <clears throat> oh, these are pretty. I like these. Super cute earrings. They're not heavy either. Got a lot of onesies so far. I hope we match them up. But we got a lot of matching ones, too. Silver tone, big 80s, boardroom. Oh, this is cute. This is super cute. New Orleans, Louisiana. Nola with the fleur de -lis there as well. That's cute. I have a big collection of key rings. I'm going to start bringing those to my auction too. I have sold some too. People really like them. Look, a little macaroni angel. She's cool. I love those homemade ones too. And what do we have here? Another brooch. Oh, this one has cats. Circle of cats. Are they chasing mice? I think they're chasing mice. Can you tell? <laughs> I think they're, you know how cats like to play with their prey before they come in? Okay, this is cool. I have no idea what it is. It almost looks like it belongs on your door. It's a heart. It's brass and heavy. Maybe it was a buckle, but I guess it was because, look, it looks like it may have broken off right there. So I think this was a... A, a part of a belt, maybe. Right? Here's a brooch and pendant. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty flower with orange stones. That's really pretty. This one's marked with a star, it looks like, up at the top. Yeah, it's got like a little lotus flower. No name, it just has a little design up there. It's a pretty brooch though. Okay, these are earrings. These are pretty. I actually really have enjoyed the ones that I'm wearing right now that are 
abalone like those, but they're not dyed. And I've really enjoyed wearing these. They're very lightweight and they just look really cute. And now look at these. I just hope we find a match because I like this orange color. Perfect for the season. If we find the other one, some broken pieces of jewelry there. Another earring. These would be really nice to add to the one earring lot if we don't match them up. Here's a dream catcher uh, key ring. Key fob. Oh, here's another part of that other one, though. This is the one that belongs to the amber because this one has just a regular ring. Okay, craft your piece on that one, though. That's, that's a pretty dream catcher. All right, let's see what else is over here. Lots of single pieces, beads. Another big earring match. Another brooch. This is an enamel one, too. It is missing some stones. Actually, this is not vintage, though. This is a pendant, and it's made to look like one of those vintage brooches. That's pretty, though. That would be an awesome crafter piece. Very nice. You just have to take this part off. And... So that's nice. It's actually a pendant. Yeah, it's a pendant. It's a modern-day piece. Some earrings. We did get the penguin matched up. I see the penguin here. So we did find a match to him. Oh, this one's... Yeah, there he is. I was going to say, oh my gosh, he looks different. I was looking at him from the back. There he is, matched up. Uh, more hair accessories. These are pretty. These are pretty. Those are different. These are the twist back. Let's see if these say anything. And I thought they were clip-ons, twists, but they're just... Wow. Kind of heavy. Interesting design on those. Let me see. Yeah, there's quite a few pieces here that are broken crafter pieces, which I really don't appreciate. But so far, we've gotten some good stuff. These are matched, too. These were really nice. So it's not too bad to, you know, they throw in some, after that Radco and then, you know, a few other really nice things, all that amber, you can't complain too much, right? Here's this one here. Angels. This is heavy. This is really nice. <laughs> That's so cute. They're all dancing and holding hands. They're frolicking. Cute. We got another charm from Cancun. And what else? Oh, this is pretty. I think I remember seeing this in another jar. It needs to be hooked. It needs a hook. It's an earring, I believe. Okay, we did get one match on the pearl earrings here. So that's good. Here's a black stone pendant. And what else? Oh, here's a cute little snowman earring with an orange scarf and hat. That's cute. And oh, maybe it turned orange. Doesn't it look orange? And the other one looks red. Hmm, that's funny. I guess the batch didn't quite take or something. But there they are. <laughs> snowman earrings. Some more pieces. What is this? A fox. A fox zipper pull from Estee Lauder. It's probably on one of their cosmetic bags. And here is a brass pendant, some kind of cross. See, this will look nice on all of those rope chains that I got, or those rope necklaces. Those will come in handy for those big, heavy pendants. And this is a barrette. Oh, we did get a match on these earrings, and these were cute. Very nice with natural stones on there. We've just got a lot of little broken crafter pieces. 
Here's a cowboy boot with a spur and everything. This was probably part of a bracelet because it looks like it was close to the toggle there. More earrings. We did get a match on the orange that I like so much. So I'm gonna wash these and wear these. I love this color. Oh my goodness, I love this color. Especially now for Halloween and fall. Those are gorgeous. I like those. I'll wash those up. Wear those very soon. See, here's what's in here. I'll let you take a look. Some. You make the team work. We got a pendant here. That, is that a bomb? Not a bomb. What's it called? A grenade. Oh my gosh, and it's heavy. That's cool. That may sell. That will definitely sell. Crazy macabre things like this sell. For sure. It's a grenade. Yep, it's a grenade, y'all. And it's solid, heavy. Let me check the bail out. <laughs> it could be, Vanessa. It's that heavy, I swear. It really is. It's so cool. I don't know. I like military things. <laughs> that is too cool. <laughs> it's it's crazy, but things like that sell. I had a, a noose once that my daughter wanted. She wore it for like three years, my middle daughter. And then I sold it for like $40 somewhere on Etsy or eBay. These are pretty. So, and it was really thin. You could barely tell what it was. Then I kept looking at it, and I was like, that's a noose. Sure enough, it's so, oh, that's cute, guys. Look at that teeny tiny little ornament. That's heavy, too. Even though it's plastic, it's solid. Oh, my goodness. More of these silly hair accessories. <laughs> what else do we see in here? Okay, another earring with a bow. And lots of broken. Oh, here's an interchangeable one. This might be sterling. Um, not what do they call these puzzle ones? I I have 18 carat that I wear on my thumb. This one kind of looks like silver because of that tarnish. It's big. Let's see what let's see what the magnet says. It doesn't stick. Thanks guys for hitting the thumbs up. 64 people bothered to do that. We need about 40 people more to go over there and do that. Guys, this is sterling. This is nice. It's not very heavy. It's lightweight, but it is nice. And I love these rings. These rings are fun to play with. They really are. Um, are you asking what a noose is? <laughs> a noose is a rope that you use to hang to hang people or things. <laughs> yeah, that's a sterling little ring, guys. That's nice. Very nice. Puzzle rings. Some people call those puzzle rings, but those aren't really puzzles. Because uh, there's some that are really puzzles. <laughs> what? I thought that's what she was asking. Because there's some words that aren't familiar to everyone. Oh, these are pretty, and I think I had already picked up the matching to these. <laughs> she was asking, right? See, that's what a noose is. Okay, I don't know how that popped up here. But this is mine. I already <laughs> have some things mixed up here. Oh, my goodness. These are cute, cute, cute. Look at these gold earrings, guys, and they're marked Avon. Those are beautiful. Those are so pretty, little dangle butterflies. <laughs> I know. Well, I was thinking, yeah, that's what it is. But, you know, it, you also use them when you, you know, let's say you want to kill some game that day, you know. Kill, a, kill your meal for the night. My dad used to hunt. He had to make a noose for that animal. This is 925, guys. And it is a stone in there. It's covered. 
It's a pendant. It's beautiful. I believe it's onyx. It almost looks Native American with the little slashes it has around it. <laughs> Hi, Miss Denise. So I like this too. It's a good bag. $20. I can't complain too much about all the hair accessories and things. More matches on the little cute earrings. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, we grew up on, I didn't grow up on a ranch, but my dad did. And we went visiting the grandparents and they would go hunt for the, for the meal. Just because they, you know, they wanted to. <laughs> they wanted that fresh cut, fresh steak. That's pretty. That's pretty. This looks like a copper base. It's still pretty. I think it's some CZs in there. That's right. I mean, that's what it is, right? I didn't didn't make up the word. There's an earring there. Here's a little bracelet. I don't think it's anything but silver tone. Here's a little white enamel bracelet, bangle. More hair accessories. Here's a minion. Minion, right? Minion earring there. Here's some, I think that's a, that's a body piercing. Oh, it's got rainbows. And it's never been opened. And these are like little rainbows on each side. Some kind of beads there. Here's another amber piece. Wow, these are a lot, that's a lot of amber, guys. That is a lot of amber. I can't wait to get my black light. We'll test them together, huh? Look at that. Wow. Amber galore. And I'm telling you, it looks real. Broken beads. I just want to look through all this because I don't want to run into gold and then we don't get the excitement together. More earrings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Liz. Drop it. <laughs> Drop the subject. <laughs> okay, we got Minnie, I mean, uh, Mickey Mouse and Tinkerbell. And it's broken, but it's still cute. <coughs> oh my gosh, you're making me laugh, Miss Liz. <laughs> you're making me laugh. And we did get a match on these, which I really like these, too. These were cute. So the prettier ones, I think we did match on. <laughs> oh, this is a nice gold chain. This is Napier. Look how pretty. I'm going to find the perfect pendant for this because this is beautiful. Very nice and shiny. Excellent condition. It is Mark Napier there. So I have to go find a perfect pendant for that. That is so cute. That was nice. Here's a Texas charm with the blue bonnet and the jalapeno pepper. And that's cute. It is just silver tone. Very nice. I may have to put that on my phone case. Somehow. Uh, we got some football charm earrings. I think I showed you that one. Uh, I'm dropping every, every time I move my sleeve, I drop something. I have these billowy sleeves on. And more of these. And I think that's um, what's left is a lot of one, you know, one earring wonders here. But again, there are a few more bags from Goodwill that I haven't opened yet. So I may just find those. I love that crystal one I opened with. This is crystal too. This one's amazing and it is on 925. The brooches were fabulous. Oh my goodness, it was a great jar for $20. And these, like I said, that is sterling, I'm sure. I'm gonna test it, but it really looks like it. These really do look like amber. That's a lot of amber on here, guys. I think they were all key rings, isn't that insane? That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. So, um, Amber, Amber in the house. Wow. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. If I find anything like I did last night, 
in the gold that I had just totally overlooked. I hope you guys watched that video. If not, go back and watch the last jewelry jar as well, where I just kind of put them aside and said, oh, they're gold earrings, and I put them aside. I thought they were just gold tone. So I appreciate you being here. Be sure and hit the thumbs up on your way out if you didn't do it on the way in. Don't forget to subscribe. We do this kind of thing all the time. We also go live to my favorite haunts. I went to the bins today for a little bit. I did buy a few things and I recorded a little bit in there. And uh, we did another live one the other day at, from the Goodwill, that was nice. So I hope you enjoy that. If you do, be sure and hit the notification bell because it will notify you when I do a fresh video. Oh, this is another one that popped out. This one's pretty. So excellent, excellent bag today. I'm super happy with it. It wouldn't be as much fun if you didn't join me though. So I'm so happy you did and I'll talk to you soon. Have a fun Friday tomorrow. Bye.